Hello YouTube, Scouting Dad 97 back here again. Today we're going to break down the 12 points of the Scout Law in a little bit more detail, uh, give some real world application. 12 points of the Scout Law, again in review, are a Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Uh, trustworthy means being trustworthy, uh, being able to keep your word, uh, people being able to, to entrust with you to do a task that they have entrusted in you. Uh, if you say you're going to do something, then you do it. Uh, a scout is loyal. It includes loyalty to friends, family, uh, school, community, the country, the, the pack. Um, loyalty kind of ties in with uh, trustworthiness as far as uh, certain aspects of it go. Uh, a scout is helpful. I, I stress this one a lot more um, than others in most cases. Uh, being helpful. The scouts uh, have a a history of being helpful. Uh, you see on the news occasionally uh, one of them will use some of their skills to help render first aid or help uh, a drowning victim. Uh, there's many things that scouts can do to be helpful. Um, they don't do it for a reward. That's the main thing. They do it to do it to do it well and uh, to help others. Uh, being friendly. A scout should be friendly towards everyone uh, even if they're different from one another. Uh, our pack has a small variety of individuals and they're all friendly towards one another. Imagine when you get into larger metropolitan areas and people with a more diverse demographic um, that it would play a bigger part. People of different races, uh, creeds, religions, uh, I'll touch on religion when we get down to the end of the list, at reverent, but being friendly towards everybody. Even if they're not friendly towards you, being able to turn the other cheek, uh, still be helpful towards them if they're in need. Uh, that's a big part of scouting. Being courteous, being polite to everyone, it also ties in with being friendly. Uh, it doesn't matter like, if they're, if the people are being mean to you, you should always be courteous and show respect. Uh, this also includes using good manners, uh, and I guess clean also down the list, which also could tie into using good manners. Uh, Scout is kind. Uh, he treats others as he wants to be treated. Uh, he never does harm or kills anything without good reason. For those of uh, you that have children that are getting their bear badge this year, the uh, whittlemanship, yeah, whittlemanship uh, touches on why you shouldn't carve anything into a living tree. Uh, even a small scratch in a tree can lead to infection just like a human being or any other animal. A scratch is an open wound that can allow bacteria and other organisms through the defensive layers of the tree and into the organism and may lead to its eventual death. Uh, this includes things uh, for uh, when it comes to uh, archery and BB guns which are not requirements for Cub Scouting, but they are in the program. Uh, not using them to injure or kill or hunt another animal. I'm not saying that this should not be done. It says without good reason. Uh, right out of the manual. Without good reason. I do hunt. Um, I do use a weapon to injure an animal, but I do it for a good reason. Uh, population control being one of them on the back side. Uh, the other one is I use the animal that I've harvested to feed my family. So, uh, there's that. Obedient is uh, following the rules of the family, school, or pack. He obeys the community, uh, the laws of his community and his country. This is basically doing what you're told and uh, not breaking any laws. Uh, all of these can tie off of one another. Uh, being thrifty I know I touched on it in the last video. Uh, I really didn't know what thrifty was before I got into Cub Scouts. It's one of them that really ties up the kids uh, if you ask them what they think thrifty means. Thrifty is the uh, a scout pays his way. Um, he uses his time and his property and natural resources wisely. Uh, like I said before, number one way is uh, raising money uh, through the sale of goods and that are provided uh, generally by the council. 
uh, popcorn being one of them. My son this year, well, last year in 2016, sold $1,800 worth of popcorn, meat, and cheeses. Uh, this was enough to pay his way through every camp this year and uh, buy some arts and crafts for everybody and some some uh, some items for some of the experiments that I like to perform for the kids to get some science and mathematics into their uh, into their learning and fun. Um, this uses his time, property, and natural resources wisely. This means that we don't like to waste a lot. We like to renew, we like to reuse, and we like to recycle and repurpose. Um, being thrifty doesn't always mean, it doesn't only mean selling things that come from the Boy Scouts with the Boy Scout logo on them. Uh, my son and I made birdhouses and sold them and gave the profit to the pack to use for purchases that we needed to make. Uh, we've also made whistles out of sticks that have we picked up out of the yard. Um, there's virtually anything you can do to help raise money for your pack and to put your kid through camp. Uh, there is a list on the Boy, Boy Scout website of acceptable um, means for collecting money. Um, I'll put the link in the description bar. It's a whole nother video's worth of stuff to talk about. Uh, a scout is brave. A scout can face danger if he's afraid. He stands up for what is right, even if others laugh at him. <clears throat> My son uh, is a very good peacemaker, or he likes to be. He, he'll step in between people that are fighting generally getting hit himself, but he's brave enough to put himself into circumstances like that where other people might not in order to protect someone who may be at a disadvantage or just to stop the fight in general because uh, no children, especially young ages, they fight over stuff that doesn't make sense to many people. Um, but he should face uh, face danger even if he's afraid. Uh, my son's still afraid of the dark. Uh, he hears noises and gets scared. But he's brave enough to face those fears. He will go upstairs into his bedroom at night with no lights on. Um, he's even To be brave is to not have an absence of fears. It's to be able to overcome those fears. Uh, a scout is clean. A scout cle keeps his body and mind fit and he keeps his home and his community clean. Uh, we do have um, community works projects where we go out into the community and we'll uh, pick up a highway. We have one that uh, we've, we've adopted and we'll go up and we'll clean up the highway a couple of times a year. Um, my son encourages me to pick up as much stuff along the side of the road as we can. If we're not, uh, do it in an appointment. We generally try to keep the house, the property, the community, the neighborhood uh, as clean as possible. Uh, if we see something that is outside of our ability to clean up by ourselves, we report it to the proper authorities and they will get it taken care of. Um, a scout is reverent. A scout is reverent towards God, he is faithful to his religious duties, and he respects the belief of others. You'll notice in here that it does not say anything about a scout is a Christian, a scout is a Muslim, a scout is a Buddhist, a scout is a pagan, or a scout is an atheist. Um, it is a requirement for scouting that you do be reverent. It is in the laws. It's in the bylaws. It is a requirement for scouting to believe in a god. Now, it does not state which god, just that you have some kind of religious faith. And per the law, you respect the beliefs of others. Uh, my son and I have traveled around to various, uh, myself more than my son, have been involved with many different religious organizations throughout the community and throughout the state, uh, dating back to when I was in Cub Scouts, trying to, uh, to see which was the best fit for us. Um, I imagine everybody is pretty set in their religious ways if you're watching this video. But it helps to understand the religious beliefs of others. Uh, in order to respect them, it helps to know where they're coming from. This 
It includes all of the Christian beliefs, the Methodists, the Baptists, the Christians, um, and the Lutherans, the, the Baptists. I, I'm probably forgetting 12 or 13 different uh, denominations of Christianity, but it it helps to be knowledgeable, to be respectful. Uh, but yes, that's that's the 12 points of the Scout Law, and I'm at 10 and a half minutes, so I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Like and subscribe. Thank you.